everybody! My name is Natalie and I am a children's librarian for the Free Library of Philadelphia. Today I am going to be sharing with you some folk songs written by Philadelphians. So these are songs written by people who lived here in Philly. But what is a folk song and why is that important? Well, let me spell this for you. F-O-L-K Folk Folk means people. So you might hear your teacher say, okay folks, let's line up for lunch. Or you might hear a grown up say, there were a lot of folks down at the ice cream stand. So folk means people. Folk music is music of the people, by the people. So not really songs you would hear on the radio, but more like, think about older songs that are passed down from person to person. Maybe songs you would sing around a campfire or songs that your parent or your grown-up sings to you to help you go to sleep. Just older, more traditional or cultural or songs that are passed down from person to person. Let's go. The first song I'd like to share with you is one that you probably already know. It's called Mary Had a Little Lamb. And guess what? This song is almost 200 years old. It was written by a woman named Sarah Josepha Hale, and she lived right here at 922 Spruce Street in Center City, Philadelphia. Miss Hale was a school teacher. In the 1800s, only boys were allowed to go to school. But Miss Hale thought that everyone should be able to go to school. Boys, girls, everybody. She also really cared about women's history, and she taught the history of famous women. In addition to that, she wrote many books, one of which was called Poems for Children, which came out in 1830. In this book was the poem, Mary Had a Little Lamb, which later became the song. In front of her house at 922 Spruce Street is this historical marker. Now let's sing Mary Had a Little Lamb together. Our next song is a folk song by a man named Mr. James A. Bland. Mr. Bland was a black man born in 1854 in New York. He wrote over 600 songs and he toured all over the world playing his music. Later in life, he lived in Philadelphia and this is where he died. He's buried in Marion Memorial Park in Bala Kenwood. I didn't feel comfortable filming in a cemetery, but there is a historical marker there so if you and your family would like to visit, the historical marker is at Bryn Mawr Ave and West Rock Hill Road. So the song I'm gonna share with you was written by Mr. Bland in 1880 when he was 26 years old. It's called Hand Me Down My Walkin' Cane and it has been recorded a whole bunch, even today, by bluegrass bands, folk bands, lots of people have sung this song. So I think how I'll do this is I'll sing a line and then you sing the line right after me. And that's how I'll teach it to you. Okay, ready? Hand me down my walking cane. Hand me down. Now I'll sing the whole song. 
I'm here in Bartram's Gardens in West Philadelphia to show you this very special plant behind me, which is the topic of our next song. Now I can't prove that this song was written in Philadelphia, but it is about a special plant that grows here, so that's why I'm sharing it. So this plant is called the pawpaw tree, and all summer long they grow pawpaw fruits that turn out to be this big. They get ready to be eaten around September, and they have a kind of tropical flavor, kind of similar to a banana or, a sh or strawberry, that kind of flavor. And what makes them so special is that they only grow here in Philadelphia and down south to the southeastern United States and out west into the Midwest, so like Ohio. So these do not grow in California, they do not grow in Alaska, they don't grow in other countries like Australia or South Africa or England, they just grow here. Here is an example of the pawpaw fruit. So as you can see, right now in June it's very small, but all summer long it will get bigger and bigger. All right, for this one, I don't have my banjo. We're gonna pat, pat, clap, clap, pat, pat. And the lyrics go like this. We'll say, where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. All right. Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Let's do that a little slower. Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Way down under in the paw paw patch. The second part we say, come on kids, let's go find her. Come on kids, let's go find her. Come on kids, let's go find her. Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Oh, but what does way down yonder mean? That means like, like way down yonder, like, like far away, yonder, there, far. It means like far away, down the road. The Paw Paw Patch is not here, it is down there, down yonder. Okay. <laughs> Come on kids, let's go find her. Come on kids, let's go find her. Come on kids, let's go find her. Way down under in the paw paw patch. The third part is the most fun, in my opinion. It's picking up paw paws, put them in our pocket. Okay, try saying that. Picking up paw paws, put them in our pocket. So we say that three times. Picking up paw paws, putting them in her pocket. Picking up paw paws, putting them in her pocket. Picking up paw paws, putting them in her pocket. Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Are you ready? Picking up paw paws, putting them in her pocket. Picking up paw paws, putting them in her pocket. Picking up paw paws, putting them in her pocket. Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. So now let's try putting all three parts of the song together. Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Way down under in the paw paw patch. Come on kids, let's go find her. Come on kids, let's go find her. Come on kids, let's go find her. Way down under in the paw paw patch. Picking up paw paws, put them in her pocket. Picking up paw paws, put them in her pocket. Picking up paw paws, put them in her pocket. Way down under in the paw paw patch. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little fast, but slow it down at home. You can, you know, go back in the video and rewatch it again and try it again. Have fun with it. It's a very fun song, full of letter 
P for paw paw. today is one that grown-ups watching will probably know, and you might know yourself. It's called We Shall Overcome, and it was written by a man named Charles Albert Tinsley. This man was a pastor here in Philadelphia, a black pastor, and he wrote We Shall Overcome in 1900, which was 120 years ago. Now the song has changed a little bit since then, but the basic essence of it is the same. And he founded a church in Philadelphia that's still around, actually. It's called Tingley Temple United Methodist Church, and it's at 750 South Broad Street. So even though Reverend Tingley is not alive anymore, people still worship at his church every week with Pastor Robert L. Johnson. And many people still sing this beautiful song that he wrote called We Shall Overcome. So what does We Shall Overcome mean? Well, shall means will, so we will overcome. And then overcome means to deal with a problem, to work hard and fix something that's difficult. So let's say you have a fear of the dark and every night you sleep with the television on, but over time you get more and more brave and you're finally able to sleep in total darkness. So you overcame that fear of the dark. This song is about overcoming racism, hatred, sadness, pain. It's saying one day we will overcome all of the bad things in the world and the world will be filled with love and peace and family and friends. So this song is just so beautiful and it has such a beautiful mission for the world. So the way we sing it is, it goes, we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Then we say, well, let me sing that part first. I do believe we shall overcome someday. Actually, so this concludes this finishes our video in the link in the description of this video I will post some links with some more history about the people I mentioned today that was Miss Hale Mr. Bland and Reverend Tindley um, some of the information being for grown-ups for adults um, but yeah Philadelphia has so many songs that were written here that you don't even realize you just sing them and you don't even know oh my gosh this was written here in philadelphia where i live so i think that's pretty cool all right thanks for listening <laughs>